Let's get into our news review segment. The Daily Guide, Nana Blast Bank of Ghana for 30 rotten banks. Bloody week for police. 25 years jail for Galamse. Mahama running mate rejected. Ghana, Russia to sign uh, visa-free deal. The Finder newspaper, Ghana imports 50k tons of uh, palm oil each year and it's valued at between $30 million and $40 million. President signs law to provide 15 to 25 years jail term for Galamseyes. IGP deploys special investigators to help probe killing of two officers. Ghana Water Company Limited Waters uh, worker drowns after maintaining whole pipe line. Uh, assembly moves to retain part of royalties. The Ghanaian Times. Punishment for illegal mining. 15 to 25 years jail term for Galamseyes. As president assents to new minerals mining act. Three regions to mark 60th anniversary of creation of BA, the Bonafo region, uh, and six arrested for diverting cocoa farmers' fertilizer. Police begin to probe into murder of two cops. The searchlight. Ghana is blessed to have a listening president as the Council of State speaking. MPP Youth Wing tackles Bahama on free SHS policy. And government is not behind financial sector challenges. Minister for Information. The informer. Dark clouds hang over Namwan's $39 million claim as lawyer calls for proof of evidence. Amanda Clinton there, she's lawyer for some customers of Mesgold. As corruption festers under Kufado, Ghana loses 9.6 billion Ghana cities. That's according to the CDD. The Inquisitor. Mani Palava, Nanes men for Shraj, over spending spree to become MPs. Uh, Mr. Joseph Wittal is there. President is there as well. This is on the front page. Alex Mould, James PPA. And uh, <clears throat> the Herald newspaper. Baba, NPP man, and others hiding PDS secrets as many conflicting claims or and backdated documents emerge. The photos of Philip Ayensu, of X Men, Andre Japamesa, MP for Second D, David Asari, Sophia Koko, Joseph Siao, Japan. They are all there. Uh, in, in the mix. And uh, maybe finally, the Today newspaper is, talks about Langard Menace. Akufuado must restore peace in Gomafete. And uh, how Baumia, Oforiata, and four others plotted in Doom's downfall started in June 10. And uh, well, Dr. Kweku Otting is also on the front page there. Good morning to you, Dr. Kweku Otting. My guest this morning, and uh, Madam Rodling uh, Imorayana, or a big woman in the CPP. She's, she's here, former vice uh, chairperson of the CPP, is here. And lawyer Gigi Tamakro also speaks on behalf of the NDC Council. Welcome, Madam. Thank you. Good morning Thank to you. Morning. Good morning. How are we? Well, you know, they say. Thank you to His Grace mm. for making us wake up this morning. Mm. Yeah. Great. We'll be joined by Mr. Stephen Amoa of Maslock shortly, but uh, let's begin the conversation. The, one of the headlines uh, says the police are under attack. We're reading that two policemen uh, have been killed while on official duty. Shouldn't we consider this as, as an attack? And what could we do, Council? <coughs> Sorry. Good morning and uh, good morning to my own mother here. Um, anytime I see this her. This is our mother. Yes, <laughs> I associate you. her to the glorious day of uh, the Osajifo, Dr. Mm -hmm. Kwame Nkrumah. Um, and uh, good morning to my friend, Steve Amwa. Mm -hmm. um, the issue about whether or not there is any attack mm -hmm. on the police um, it's a matter that maybe we would have to look in terms of numbers. Okay. What I believe is that when a man decides to sacrifice everything mm. to protect others, the society owes that person a responsibility to equally protect that person. Our policemen, fire service officers, immigration <coughs> officers, Sorry. soldiers, have dedicated themselves to protecting us. Whilst we are asleep, they are out there. Rain or shine, sometimes you see a policeman in the rain trying to direct traffic. Mm -hmm. We owe them a lot. And so where there is even evidence mm -hmm. that one police officer has been killed, mm -hmm. it matters not the numbers. It's an attack 
on the republic mm -hmm. is an attack on the service. Mm. Because the policeman, that badge that he has, mm -hmm. is the authority of the republic, mm. is the authority of the states. Okay? Is the authority of the state and no other person. So the authority he's using is an authority that directly emanates from the Constitution. It's an authority that directly proceeds from our collective decision mm -hmm. to ensure. And I always draw this um, analogy from John Hobbes in the state of nature, Thomas Hobbes, the Leviathan. All of us by now should be protecting ourselves right. so that survival is reduced to the fittest. Mm. Charles Darwin. From that Darwinian mm. kind of environment. Brute force. So might is right. Then the state was created. Now the creation of the state ensured that eventually we come to the position where all of us have decided, instead of you protecting yourself, providing that private arrangement to protect yourself from invasion, you know, and what have you, we have the police. Mm -hmm. So where you have this situation, where a police officer, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. can be gunned down in this manner, such attack is not on that police officer. It's an attack on the republic. It's an attack on the service. It's an attack on our collective security. Mm -hmm. Because the question is, if a policeman sees that his colleague had been killed in this dastardly manner, mm -hmm. what would be the incentive for him mm -hmm. to even say he wants to sacrifice for the collective? These young men, they have young families. Mm -hmm. What is the incentive in place today that a police officer killed in this manner, his family, children, <coughs> wife, or whatever, will have the benefit of being catered for. Mm -hmm. Now the danger is, if the state does not intervene, we'll come back to the position where you have children who are unable to climb you know, the, 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 the ladder in life simply because they have lost their dad in a very prime, youthful age. This is very dangerous. It's an attack on the republic. It matters not whether it is one police officer. And this morning, I want to encourage our men in the service mm. to keep on keeping on. Deepest condolences to the family, sir, that's been affected. But, Madam, what would give anybody the audacity, or if you like, the impudence, to want to do something like this? Um, they're not scared of the crown, they're not scared of the uniform to talk of even the fact that a man is on a national assignment. Why? Um, good morning, Ghana. Um, and also my condolences to the families mm. that are involved. It's really sad um, to read such news, mm. especially for people who have laid down their lives to protect us, to mm. make us sleep soundly, mm. and the likes. But then, if you ask me, as I was listening to um, my colleague here, mm. you know, I was asking something, like asking myself, okay. what would make a civilian, mm. you know, have mm. that kind of courage right. to go and shoot a policeman? Mm. You see, we have to ask questions as to the kind of training that mm. our police people are giving. Mm -hmm. We have to ask as to the human relations that they have with the general public mm. and people. Mm. We also have to ask about the way and manner arms are in circulating in society right arms. now. Because as you read, you find out that some of them were after the guns. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, as soon as they kill, they collect guns, mm -hmm. which means that one of the motives is just to get the gun. Right. That is one. The other one is that um, sometimes also you read about police molestation of mm -hmm. innocent people, mm -hmm. or perceived to be innocent mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. You also read or hear about policemen doing things that are not right mm. um, according to their profession, being okay. unprofessional. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes people are people. 
if, if a policeman misconducts himself, sometimes people are forced to do some of these things. They attack them. Um, but most of the time, criminals are after policemen purposely for the weapons. Because there's nowhere to go and buy a gun legally in this country. Even if you have to, you, you need to go and give out certain details. To, and, these, to and these miscreants are not ready to do that kind of thing because they're not going to use it for any legal purposes or for illegality. So they're not going there. So a lot of them would want the guns. And I, I've always said that this culture of arming the police mm -hmm. in this country has opened a completely new chapter. Why so? You know, um, I, I, I gave an example here. I said, days gone by, years gone by, mm -hmm. the policemen were holding a whistle mm -hmm. and the button. Mm -hmm. When you travel out of this country, they still hold the whistle, the button, and the Motorola. Mm -hmm. That's the basic. But they have side arms They have too. their side, um, have side uh, um, pistols. Pistols, right. Fine, but not all of them. People mm -hmm. on the beach are just going. You know, people who involve themselves with the public. Mm. They don't go armed. Uh, most of our, our policemen AK would use uh, uh, assault rifles. AK-47s, mm. assault rifles. I mean, it, it's intimidating. Mm. So when thieves or criminals were going to a place, because they knew that you didn't, you didn't have guns, in those mm. days they didn't carry guns. Mm. As soon as we started arming the police, then the armed robbers also started carrying guns. The robbers started carrying guns. Mm. Now, we are having policemen. We've seen pictures of policemen mm. at drinking spots with guns. Right. They get drunk, mm. they, the criminals pick up the guns. In public transport. In public transport holding guns. It can just let off at any time. I, I have this saying, I say, when I see a policeman holding a gun, I run the other way because I'm not sure mm. of his professional mm. uh, conduct mm. at that time. So let's just say that... So training is key. Training is key. And we are also having a problem because in the training also comes what we call protocol. Right. Um, if you investigate mm. critically some of these mm. issues, you will find that there's indiscipline in the system mm. and therefore they exhibit that indiscipline in the public domain. Mm. And then people get angry. They, 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 they kind of like have a law for themselves and the law that's written for them. Mm. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So when these things happen, um, these miscreants, sometimes they are also in bed with the miscreants. Okay. They are in bed with people who sell small drugs mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then occasionally they might arrest the person, harass the person a bit. And then the other people is like, after paying you, why should you, you know, come and, come, come and do this to me? Do this to us. So they also want their pound of flesh. So they do that. But basically, I think it's the weapons. They just need to, to get the weapons. That okay. is why. So we should train them. I think training is key. Right. Yeah. Right. And Steve, professionalism from them. The, the police have lost two of their men uh, in, in very questionable circumstances. Uh, some say they are under attack. They have sent investigators there to deal with the issues. But um, where, where do we go from here? Steve, your, your, your mic is... Steve, you actually have a, a lavalier on your lapel. So Ejuji was trying to be... Yes. Very, yes you yes. do this and nice. damage me later. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's my brother. Um, Steve, Steve let's, let's, take, let's take a yeah, bite at this one. Um, my greetings to... No, first, my condolence to the Ashanti Kingdom, Otunfo. Mm. Uh, and then the other chiefs, mm -hmm. and the entire Ashanti uh, family, and then the Ghanaians, the entire Ghanaian community. Mm -hmm. When it comes to chief, mm. um, it's like national issue. Right. Kamanche, uh, all the chiefs in Ghana, they, not until colonial masters came, mm -hmm. they were ruling Ghana, they were doing a lot of great things for us. And they continue to play that custodian role. So we are all hurt, but then God knows what he is doing. Uh, secondly, I would like to extend my regards to the great people of Inshia. Mm. Uh, you have interest there? Oh, yes. Okay. I have interest in Ghana. Okay. You know, I'm, a, I'm no, very no, nationalistic. No. You are mentioning Inshia, so that's what yes. I'm asking you. Do you uh, have interest in But in terms in of precedence, in terms so of priority, okay. you are not wrong what right. you are saying. Right. So I greet everybody in Inshia, so okay. all the great people there. They Let's you. continue to work together and change our society yeah. and community. They have heard you. In this small sense of community in the area.
So we're going to work hard. Honorable when it comes to <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker I disagree with my, my, my sister on the other side. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, we need to precede this discussion with some sort of humor to calm our nerves down. It's very painful. It's been going on for many years, many, many years. Actually, it's not only Ghana this thing happens, we know. But then we were not known to be uh, getting that British. to that level. Mm. Yeah. And Madam and my brother, they have raised a lot of very tangible and credible issues. Mm. So I will have very little to say. The fact is, I think one problem we need to solve as a country, especially MPP and DC, mm. how we recruit people into the security agencies. Mm. How, how do you mean? We, we need to make sure that it, it, is, it, it is an essential area. It is very mm. crucial mm. profession that we need to reduce the significant amount of, 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 of partisanship mm -hmm. in the process. Mm. We all do, let's be very honest. And it's not helping us. There are areas we can, but mm. when it comes to security, security agencies, I'm one person that I always think, that's my opinion, not mm. MPP's opinion, is even the appointment of IGP and Co. Mm -hmm. I think we need to get to the level that we will graduate from that process and make sure that in terms of the, 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 the full freedom and the liberty to operate mm. as security agencies will be there. Secondly, the training, as Madam said, I'm not saying they are doing bad. Mm. <laughs> it happens elsewhere. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Even U.S., yeah. <laughs> that they have mm. one of the best in the world. It happens to them all the time, public attacking the police. But we don't want to be demotivated by that and mm. say, hey, we are mm. okay. No. We need to upscale our performance as a country, as a state, in training mm. the police and making sure that we have police service personnel that, I mean, up by all standards, these things can be highly reduced. Mm. I also think the public should understand how the police operate. The, the relationship between them and the public. Yes, yeah. I think sometimes because of the police also their behavior. Let's be mm. honest. Once you're advising the mouse, you need to ad advise the cat. Mm. The police, in my opinion, are doing so much well. In terms of even logistics, they are less endowed mm. and not up to the task. Police uh, 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 population ratio or whatever, or citizenry, mm. is supposed to be one to 500. Mm. We are not there yet. So all these things are there. However, I think the police behavior. Right now, I drive from Kumasi to Accra. You get not less than four or five or sometimes six police stands. Mm -hmm. And most of them, I wouldn't say all, about 80% is all about extorting money. The money. You understand what I'm saying? And before they do that, they create relationship, mm -hmm. which is not bad. But when you build a relationship and you're telling the citizen or the citizen that, oh, I'm building this because I want to collect money from you, then that familiarity breeds disrespect mm -hmm. and heaps corn on their potentials and, and dwindle their potency as security agencies. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that they should also be careful. There should be a limit. Okay. You build relationship to get information, yes. But the police should be very careful. And the public should also respect the police. There have been instances where, you know, some members of the public have said that, look, you are, uh, as police, have harassed us for so long. So when we also see people harassing you, we will stand and watch. No, and, but boss, and, and, let's be and, very and honest. There have been instances I like agree, that. But even you remember the, the issue of the truck truck driver and his mate beat who had the effort to, to beat a policeman? But in that, that one, let's, let's be also honest. I agree sometimes that excesses. But if you really also sit down and observe the behaviors of some of the people in Ghana, some mm. Ghanaians, mm. the citizenry, Let's be honest. These truck truck drivers <laughs> <laughs> and taxi drivers mm. run. I just drive around Accra, Kumasi, Ho, Takra, everywhere. My brother, if you want to be very honest, me, I get passionate mm. not because I want to put up, um, I mean, Abraham behavior on the mm. street, mm. but I have been picking dead bodies between Kumasi and Accra long before now. Even Cape Coast recently, we are driving to Central Region, mm. and before the two, one of these is a sprinter, whatever, mm. top speed. Mm. Just mm. by the, the pedestrian path, and the car crossed us. We talked to him, the driver insulted us. When he realized that he could mm. be arrested, the passengers in the car, oh, please, say, then we stop. 
less than two hours on the same road, but not the same car. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dead bodies on the road. So splashed all over. I'm telling you, sometimes we ourselves as a people, the way we behave, elsewhere they respect the police. Mm. You can see somebody holding the police by the neck publicly. A police woman was badly assaulted in Kumasi. Is, is it the is it the aura around the, the police? Is it the appearance? What is it? Because I'm striking. Look, I grew up in the barracks. He made a very. I, I, I grew up in the barracks. Familiarity. And, oh, familiarity. and yes, I grew you know, up in, you know, in the barracks. How come that, you know, when you see a soldier, you don't instantaneously, do you have a feeling that this person, if you joke, he's you're going to do with you. I think it's just about human behavior. It is good we have the police with us mm. always. <laughs> but regrettably, because they are the nearest interface mm. with us we kind of develop that contemptuous conduct mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you'd, I mean, like you pointed out, if you are moving from, say, Accra to this place, you need a certain level of police visibility. Right. Highway robbers. Mm -hmm. If they know that every hundred kilometers, there is a policeman, mm -hmm. every hundred, and then they, that one, they know that if they come robbing you, mm -hmm. you can easily call for assistance. Right. So that whole idea of having too many police officers on the road, especially mm -hmm. highway, is in good position. Right. Unfortunately, you have instances where people would take advantage. They are not policing, they are stopping. Uh -huh. So they will so take advantage. The, the, the idea behind having too many of the police officers on the highway. Mm -hmm. It's actually civilian driven. Okay. Because many times you see robbery going yeah. on. Yeah, so you, you know, need a police. Unfortunately, know, they are one lawyer, or two. I think now you're a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer. What you're saying is very true. But what I'm saying is that mm. there's something that I think in Africa we have not realized. Mm. What is it? Um, we call something psychological contract. Okay. It is not a written contract between you and somebody. Mm. Between you and your mother, you and your father, you and your sister, you and your friend, your, your colleague workers, mm. your senior, they are just different. Okay. It can never be the same right. in any relationship. Exactly. Once that thing is adhered to, mm. even the wars in the world, the what we are talking mm. about will not happen. Between me and you, we have where we can go. Right. I know you respect me, I respect mm. you. Mm. On the show, sometimes we all get carried away by politics your best to calm us down we move on we finish we talk we are mm. friends mm. and this mp we don't fight we mm. are friends mm. there can be very heated argument here when we mm. go out we all talk mm. and laugh all right but the point is my brother doesn't expect that the respect he has for me at any point in time i will hate him or he'll hate me mm. or i'll use serious words mm. definitely as human as he is he'll reply what i'm saying is that between the police and the citizen mm. or the public that psychological contract, mm. the public are expecting that we should be protected by the police. Right. The police mm. exhibit equitability in discharging their duties. Mm. The police is expecting that the public respect the police, they conform, they comply mm. with the laws mm. of the land, mm. they give them vital pieces of information. Once that respect is there, but if a policeman sees you, sometimes I give police money. And be on, they don't even ask me. Mm. When I'm driving and it's late, the way they are suffering, you there's, not, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. It's okay. motivation. Mm. But when the police is, they ask you, your lances, you pull your lances. Let me see your triangular, then you pull it. Let me see your fire this, you pull. There was a time, a crowd road. Mm. They ask me, where's your uh, box? That thing they put in. It's the first, first thing. Box. And you know the German cars, they are always in, not in wooden box. Mm. There, there's something that green thing, right, very right, silk. Right. Exactly. Mm. I pull that thing with an even white cross on mm. it. Mm. The man said, No, mm. this thing, you, you should get a wood thing. Yeah. My brother, you are arrested. It should be yeah. visible. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they can ask you, Oh, my mm. man, uh, mm. they let me arrest you before. Even yeah. as they haven't mm. asked anything. Yeah. So we agree. However, prevent they your arrest. They just want something. No, but you see. But then, no, gosh, I'm coming on. I'm coming okay. we, we need, to, we need, we need that, to move. Let me end with it. Having yeah. said that, if I'm rating the police in Ghana, I'll give them exactly. over 70%. Exactly. Right. Simply no, 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 because is good. we ourselves, mm. we, we, yeah. the people ourselves, we are not also making the police work done efficiently. Ourselves. If I'm, somebody's arrested now in MPP, they will call me or they will call somebody. Yeah. My brother is here. and go, what is happening? Please. They will call. Maybe NDC, even mm. NDC man will call people, MP man will call NDC man, mm. oh Charlie, you guys, you are in so, power, so out they say them. out. So even ourselves, that culture, mm. not until we get to the point that we all make mistakes, but genuinely somebody kills somebody or rapes somebody mm. or goes and steal, and then somebody will call you, please pardon the person. 
And once you go, why should I pardon you? Nothing is for free. So all okay. of us as stakeholders, mm. all of us as stakeholders, should see security as number one factor. We should give precedence to security. Maybe, maybe we should, we should, we should resource them enough to. You know, you know, you know we you should. Know. Resource, yeah. Resource, should resource, resource them, them enough out to. On this critical okay. issue, Johnny, you know that today, if it should be, a, you know... But today we should if, do this nice if, 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 no if you encounter a police, if you encounter a police officer, it will interest you to know that the police officer will first let you know that what you have done is mm -hmm. wrong. So the question of negotiation usually will come from the civilian. Right. <laughs> you understand? He's because scared to go to court. Uh -huh. you, also no, want, <laughs> you also want to buy time. Okay. You want to <laughs> buy yourself everything. Because right now, if you should arrest me for traffic offense and you take me to the district court, mm. I may have to go and look for, say, a lawyer. Right. I may have to go and do one or two things. I have to go and plead. Your time wasting. And then at the end of the day, yeah. another fine. So if back. you look and look and look and you do the quack 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 permutation, then you now tell officer, senior, this one, you for make, for make uh, a, a go. You for be the judge for here. No? <laughs> so you just pass the sentence on you right there. Then you pay the fine. And then you move. I mean, is this? You know what I mean? Yes, 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 No, but I agree yes, that on, I uh, on a more serious note, <laughs> I think that the police have done so well. Oh yeah, yeah. Any so, attack? I'm being honest. They are doing well. To, mm. You know, send a strong message. But I'm very confident. Mm. The police have said that once you attack one of their own, they, they have you. a way of mm. getting yeah. you out. You remember, right. in the 90s, Kweku Kweku Ninja. Kweku Ninja. Mm. Mm. Yeah, even when they, they dug mortar. concrete mm. and buried him beneath the concrete, mm. Mm. the police were able to uncover that well, whole But sometimes so the I public are also asking questions that people have been meshed and murdered and then they actually bent uh, they, they, they don't so many, a, a stream of them, a long That's stream true. of them. Uh, Roger Kumsi in Cape Coast, yeah. I remember, yeah. Openia that day, so many of them. They have all of the unsolved measures. Yes, but but it country. also depends on, 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 on measures. The, the, measures. how the thing happens. It's not easy. It's true. What? It happens elsewhere. Sometimes, if you don't provide the information that they need, mm. it's very difficult. I mean, recently there was a police okay. man who look, was look at it. Let's let's make progress. Well, but, but, but I, I, I you wanted I, to say I something quickly. That I think that um, mm. there's some form of rebranding mm. going on within the police service right. because you can see that these days their attitudes are quite different. Oh yeah. But then sometimes you look around and you ask yourself. I mean, the appearance alone sometimes doesn't exude any confidence. Right. You understand? So government has to be able to retool them, you know, to actually give them the resources. Because, you see, without all those things, they are not able to earn the respect right. from us. Right. Because if you see a policeman with uh, uh, faded uh, 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 uniforms, uniforms mm. very old uh, boots mm. and all that, it doesn't exude that, That's the any government's confidence. job to do, that's the government's to provide to do, them, yeah, to I mean, provide them with the logistics so mm. that they can also provide us with the services. My, my mentor said that your dress takes care of 40% of the marks that anybody that will give it. to you. And, and so if you appear and you look... So if you are giving me marks... Oh, no, I'm, I will not. You, you, are, you, you are a lecturer. <laughs> lecturers, <laughs> lecturers are not generous. <laughs> <laughs> lecturers are not generous with marks. So yeah. let's move on. But a 25-year jail term for Galamsey, so President Kufuado uh, has said, henceforth, anyone caught doing illegal mining, popularly called Galamsey, could face not less than 15 years in jail. The President said this yesterday at a meeting with members of the Council of State, and he asserted that on Monday uh, he assented to the mining law as amended by Parliament, and the maximum punishment is 25 years in prison. It was brought to me yesterday, that's the President speaking, for my assent. So it is now law. Parliament has amended the mining laws and heightened considerably the penalties for those engaged in illegal mining for the so called Galamsey, the President said. He also announced that under the new law, we have increased the punishment for foreigners who, in intervene illegally in this industry. Will this law cure anything at all? Madam, I'll start with you. We know the Aisha Wan story. We know that people still are doing Galamsey, respective of the fact that we have put a ban on it. The color of our rivers are changing to cocoa, cocoa brown <laughs> these days again. <laughs> and now we have a new law. Is it the law we need? Is it enforcement? Or is it the willingness of all of us to make sure that we protect the earth? Um, we've been fighting Galamse for quite a while now. Mm. And I would want to ask where we have gotten to. What have we achieved? Mm. Because people are still doing Galamse. Um, we are still seeing even people within authority mm. engaging in Galamse. And
people to do galamse. Mm -hmm. So um, bringing out um, a punishment regime is just throwing it out there and letting people feel like something is being done. Um, first and foremost, we need to ask ourselves how we are even fighting it. People are still being given licenses. Some are even in there with our licenses. You understand? Well, is it wrong to give licenses? <laughs> no, I'm oh, saying that, allow what I'm that, saying allow is that to. people are being given licenses mm. to, to, to go and, and do mining. And at the same time, people are in there with our licenses also Correct. doing the mining. Thank you understand? You. So then you ask yourself, is, is this the procedure, the process mm. to acquire a license that is cumbersome right. such that people would want to do it illegally? Mm -hmm. You, you understand? Because at the end of it, if it's easy to get a license, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't go for a genuine license or a legal something to be able to do what I want to do. But we, we know in this country that sometimes there are bottlenecks, you know, when it comes to acquiring such licenses. So people tend to turn the other way. And also, um, we, we are but, but unable... To, to be fair, there are others who have also been giving licenses for one thing and they have gone in down to the oh, field that, to yeah, do that, another That's thing. another thing. And not only that, even when, when it's, it's black and white, that you shouldn't even give it to foreigners. They wow. front for Chinese people mm -hmm. and, you know, all those things. Um, it is there. As to whether this will be enforced is another thing. As to whether we'll be able to really fight this kanka is another thing. But I think that we're not doing enough. Because so far, we've not really seen people being prosecuted, you know, strongly for Galamse. We, we seem to place it on a, f a, a very lenient mm. ground. Mm. So people just feel like, like um, Stephen said, if, if you catch someone, then it's party business. Somebody calls somebody and somebody calls someone and it's all gone. Aisha Wang, all those things. I mean, are we serious as a country? Senior Minister says prosecuting her will not well, add well anything not, to That our, is it. Prosecuting her will not. So prosecuting a Ghanaian will add something to our economy. If oh. you go to China, do you, do you see, do you see this? In context. Uh, <laughs> in what, <laughs> under what context? <laughs> it it all meant the same thing because mm. he was trying to say that we are in business with China and therefore prosecuting one of their own. And in fact, at that time, there was the, this Sino. Yes, one, there was one, the one, Sino. One at a time. There was the Sino Hydro thing. Prosecuting that, a Chinese. One, one, one yes, at a time. him. So, not, not prosecuting hey, a Chinese. Hey. 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 Aisha Wang. We kind of be like detrimental to us. Yeah, so, so, so you didn't follow, but that is it. So how do we fight it? How do we fight it when the main perpetrators cannot be handled by a government? You know, at one moment they are caught and then they run off. It's just like people even in our redwood. This one who was dealing with redwood, rosewood, um, uh, uh, rosewood. The next thing is gone. You understand? So it is our ability and the the, the the fact that we have the will, the willpower, the political will to fight it. If it's there, we'll be able to do it. But 25 years for Galamse, I even think it's, it's, the, the, the it's, president it's is, being lenient. The president is sending a strong signal it's out there. It's even being lenient. You, you think that is not enough? I think that's even not enough because um, uh, the type of destruction that this brings mm. is such that 25 years is even not enough hmm. as a deterrent. Okay, Edigi, there's a new law. Yeah. Uh, perhaps well, let's I call think, it a new, a new sheriff in town. The law it was there, but it's now it's been tightened. Okay, so... I think that for a bit of education, um, what happened was that, you know, we passed the Minerals and Mining Act in right. 2006, mm -hmm. Act 703, mm -hmm. and then what happened is that um, it created certain offenses. So somewhere 2016, mm -hmm. the law was amended right. to enhance the penalty. Okay. However, it created a minimum. Okay. Now, what has happened is that the minimum, mm -hmm. the threshold appears to be within 15 and 25. 25 yes, right. I mean, in some jurisdiction, particularly, say, in China, matters that borders on environment, sometimes there is even an issue of death sentence. Yes. That's how they That's take the you. whole issue. Mm -hmm. You know, there is an overriding mm -hmm. question of intergenerational equity issues, mm -hmm. where, for instance, the view is that whatever environment that you have today, mm -hmm. you are supposed to protect it. Not only protect it, <laughs> but ensure that future generations can have benefit of the same environment. And so if you look at the directive principles of state policy under the Constitution, it makes the protection of the environment mm. as such a serious constitutional matter mm. that all state actors must ensure that this thing is done well. You see, I have looked at the, the amendment and quite interesting amendment to the law because right now for instance what it says that's section 99 one mm -hmm. it says that a person who buys 
or sells minerals without a license in accordance with session so so and so. Mm -hmm. So you notice that the offense really mm -hmm. is about doing it without license. Okay. So once you are able to demonstrate Secure that I have license to do it. Now the question is, how is that license procured? If the process of procuring that license is fraudulent, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. state actors can be induced mm -hmm. to give you the license, then where have we got into? You have mm -hmm. created a legality legally. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what you have created another layer of bureaucracy mm -hmm. that allows a person to get the license. But what you do in terms of the distraction, you not resolve the problem. I remember that in the wake of the fight against Galamsey by the Kufa government, mm -hmm. we had about nine uh, district officers who were all sent away because they were not helping us to see. Uh, see, what let me give it, let to, me give you a classic. Let me give you a classic example. His Excellency Nanado Dankwe Kufado. One of the things he did was to bring the issue of interministerial thing Committee, on, Gal right. on Galamse. One of the analysis exposé. Operation Vanguard. Yes, the the analysis exposé. What did we see? The question about a presidential staffer. Mr. Bisu. Yes, helping the process. <laughs> Whatever he was doing was lawful. You say he was cleared. Absolutely. But you notice from whatever happened is that it was the process of getting the license. Okay. So if at the end of the day there can be inducement for the person to get a license mm -hmm. and at the end the CID quote unquote clears the person. Mm -hmm. The persons who eventually got those licenses, they'll be involved in lawful mining activity mm. but the process of getting it we know it's fraudulent. it's fraudulent you understand so we may have this beautiful law mm. in our statute books but at the end of the day i mean like we all made a point when aisha one was arrested mm. for her involvement in these illegal mining activities what happened she was deported at least now, they make that kind of deportation. You cannot happen. You should be able to serve some part of your sentence in this country. In that case, she was arrested, re-arrested, No, re in fact, she was in the court. She was being prosecuted. Mm. Several witnesses have been called. Mm. Only for some invisible hands. The next day, she was on a flight straight to China. Because her prosecuting her would not be good for her. And, and to, like the senior minister said, when he was confronted by the journalist, mm. he said, look, of what benefit will it be? Meanwhile, I am aware, I've been to court in Koforidua, where they brought our countrymen mm. and women involved in Galamse. Mm. They had been convicted three, four years. If you go to a place like, you know, Western region, mm. Mm. the Amenfi, a crapon, mm. a, a, a crapon or whatever, those areas, mm. many of the young people there are languishing in prison. So if at the end of the day, even the law that we have, its application is done selectively, okay. you would then have a problem that, Mr. President, just having the amendment in and of itself, does not resolve the... Yeah, I mean, I mean, fear 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 it does not fundamentally resolve the problem. I can understand the challenge that we are all faced with. Look, as for mining, R for and you. the law, if you look at the Minerals and Mining Act, it permits a Ghanaian to engage in small-scale mining mm. once you have the necessary authorization. Right. So the real issue is authorization. But if the process of authorization it's, it's fraudulent. is fraudulent, mm. the person will have the <laughs> license, Sorry. but you will destroy the environment. Okay. Uh, Mr. Amwa, and I, I saw Mr. Amwa taking notes. Uh, yes, usually when he would ask you of the names of places like that and locations, mm. it means that he will tell people in power to act <laughs> on it. So as for that, you can trust to him to do that. to find out yes, no, but if that is true. Mm. And if it is true, you, you will get people to Was act. it the right thing done mm. or not? Mm. So as for that, I know. No, that's why I said as they for that, as for that, I know you do it when you. I told you, I'm, I'm a nationalist. As for that, person. I know you do it. So I'm giving you credit for that. Thank you. That when he picks information, he gets into it, and if but, there's. But, but some, today be Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> this my today's my day. <laughs> today's <laughs> my day. <laughs> Your boys are here. <laughs> Talk to me, anyway, uh, Mr. Bro. So th there's this new law uh, or the amendment, and it really raises very key concerns that look. We could have such beautiful laws, Madam as well, that could have punitive uh, provisions. 
but if the process leading up to acquiring the, the license to operate itself is fraudulent, then the law is flawed because you can't implement it. Is it the process mm. that is fraudulent or the actors that are supposed to do the right thing that they don't do the right thing? I think we should get a clarity mm. because the process is not fraudulent. The process is, is not. If the, pro the process of mm. getting licenses is so Herculean, mm. very, 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 very cumbersome. Go and check. But probably where we should look at is, are people really taking through the right process? Mm. That is where probably there could be fraudulent activity. But the process itself is very good. But Madam was but asking a question me. about what we have achieved so far since we yeah, decided I'm, I'm to coming. invest all our resources into it. Some of us that do a lot of cross, and it's not cross country. Cross country is moving from one country Chris, to Chris crossing. Cross regional, whatever. Mm. Travel a lot. My brother... And my madam, there are changes. But the problems are still also there. We have not solved all of them. Mm. For instance, before you get to Konongo from Kumasi, mm. there's a river there. Mm. It used to be so bad. Now, go and check. But when you also get into Enyinam, mm. the river used to be so bad, and it's still bad. When you're moving to Western Region area, some of the rivers are still very bad. Mm. So the fact of the matter is that we need to, in a way, mm. we need to, in a way, honestly pad the shoulder of the president. In any case, Galamse has been going on so many years. Mm. Our rivers, our water bodies, in fact, some fish that we eat in Ghana here. Mm. Yesterday, when I was eating fish, I, I felt some some bitter thing in it. Why? So mm. And I got you scared. Have, and I was eating, like, wow, you're eating, you're eating I'm mercury. in trouble. Mercury. You're mercury. Eating I'm mercury. in trouble. <laughs> you know, it's established that some of the fish we eat today, we, we, they find high level of mercury. Mm. And these are very toxic, very poisonous. Our cocoa, a lot of things are going bad. Our forest. And when forests are getting depleted this way, the probability that one day a rainfall pattern is highly going to be adversely affected mm. is high. Mm. And then we are doomed. So we have not found anyone as a leader who has gotten that courage, that boldness, mm. that tenacity and authority to say that I'll confront the issues, even though I can sense mm. disaffection for my government. Why, why, why is that difficult? So I'm saying, but that's what, that is what Anadu has done that we need to praise him. Sometimes in this country, mm. the, the, the process yeah. might not so be efficient. Don't, don't, today, don't. today we decided oh, oh, that we oh, 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 yeah. hard. Uh, so uh, has no, Anadu no, not. Once you go there, well, you will force. It, okay, it, you can. Uh, 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 but what have I said? Have I said anything against it? No, you have not. But has Anadu not really demonstrated that authority to fight? I mean, So, so JM and John Mahama. They Nothing also happened. brought. Why are you brought, talking about? Why are you no, talking no, about I'm, and, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying that if you're you're saying that you're saying that <laughs> we have not Simbo. had any leader Simbo. who has shown commitment, and I'm saying that under Nigeria, for example. That? No, have I said we've not seen any leader that has? I've never said. Oh, but you said that before. I'm you saying agreed, that you settled on another. For na for a leader to show this level of commitment, mm. Mm. at least Ghanaians know that there was uh, former President Rawlings, right. former President Kufuor. Former President Mills, mm. former President Mahama, right. and Anato. Mm. They might have shown some sort of commitment. You can say that. But even the ordinary Ghanaian on the street, in terms of whose era fighting Galamse in Ghana has gotten this tenacity, this attention, this public visibility. I mean, it's an Anato. That one, I, you can I, say anything. I, I it's a that, fact. I think that there was a media coalition first. And the government, which Baba, into Baba. It. so there the media, a media I'm coming. So, so the media, give us credit. Boss, can I talk? Give yeah. us credit. So the media <laughs> under all regimes mm. never put up any initiative in making sure that leadership fight Galam. So let are, me. Are give you me, disputing? Can you the, give me? Oh, wait, 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 please. Steven. Okay, facts right. are facts. Can you allow me to? Ask Steven, me? hold on. Facts. What I'm saying is Steven, that Steven, the hold me. on. Facts are facts. I'm saying that there was a media coalition led by Mr. Shibe, which started first before government caught the wind. From the interministerial I'm not, I'm committee, not Vanguard. But so, what I'm saying, so no, said the record straight. But maybe you are not getting me. Okay. Get my analysis correct. I've not disputed what you are saying. What I'm okay. saying is that do you want to tell me that before Nanadu came, the media had no, the media started long before. Mm. Media mm. started fighting against some of these antisocial behaviors. But any government, in terms of willing to do that, I'm sure they had. But all all of them were afraid 
that Galam say will let them lose power. Okay. And that tenacity that uh, Kufuado has demonstrated is what I'm saying that we need to part his shoulders. Because but, but, but how Galam many says still exists. Oh, well, can I also talk? Galam says still exists. Doesn't it? Can you let me talk? Okay. Because what you are doing to me, sometimes you say when I come on program, <laughs> every <laughs> statement you want to meet, why? Are you engaging me? They all spoke. I'm not saying don't ask Steve, me a question. Steve, if you hear me, Steve, I you have spoken. Stop, stop this. <laughs> stop it. You have He's spoken. blackmailing you, you to have give spoken. me more time. You have Steve. spoken. Didn't I allow you to You have mastered. You have mastered. You have mastered. But madam, when I started talking, mm. I mentioned rivers that they were good, rivers that are still so bad. Does it mean that we solve Galapagos? But, so why do you say but, this? but uninterrupted. So now if I'm asking you but questions, I can't the question ask, you're asking I asked me, all of them questions. The question you're, no, the question you're asking me, I had addressed that. You don't like the question. <laughs> you don't no, like what I'm saying, you madam, like listen, if you're hosting a program and somebody says that attempts are being made, hmm. some rivers are good. I mentioned one. I mentioned about three that are not good, saying that the problem is still there. Okay. Why do you go ahead and say that? Okay. So I, I said that this okay. thing, okay. Okay. I'm saying, has it been solved? You, you wrap up for me then. You wrap up for me then. I'm done. Please. You are done. It's okay. Thank you. You are, you are angry. Hmm. No, I'm not angry because okay. the way you are handling me, how can I talk? How, how am I handling Steve you? wants more time. You give okay. him to I think right. somebody is talking. <laughs> the person lands. They ask a question. No, but, but this is But if you have spoken uninterrupted and I'm not asking I have not question. spoken uninterrupted since I started. When you like started the in your name thing and things, did I stop you? Please go ahead. Steven Amwa. So the only my thing I committed was my good and friend. I had a tenacity to that. I all. did it. It's not, there's no <laughs> sin. I'm <laughs> saying that. I'm asking you. Because I had a lot to say. If you had allowed me, mm -hmm. I could have said so many good things. Thank now, you. only one statement. The interruption is true. That I have Thank you end. very much. Stephen Amwa is the man to speak to at Maslock. Uh, well, he thinks that my, my interruption <laughs> is unnecessary. We're asking questions. Have that, I said that? Well, this law, well, that's what you just said. <laughs> and you said you will not speak again. Stephen Amwa, thank you very much for your time. We'll, we'll meet uh, at the veranda. We'll talk. Um, <laughs> Lawyer Gigi Tamaklo speaks on behalf of the N NDC. And Madame Rodling Imorayana is also here on behalf of the CVP. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>